Hey YouTube, it's Archangel and today I'm going to show you how to change the tubing on your Aquamedic Reef Doser. Um, first thing you need to do is get yourself to eBay and search, go to the advanced search, search for this user, J Danton, J D A N T I N. He's going to have this really handy uh, kit that he makes. Um, it comes pre-packaged, it's like $9.95 and if you order more than one he gives you a discount, it's awesome. Um, so when you order this packet, uh, or this package, it comes neatly in this little Ziploc with easy to, use, easy to read detailed instructions, you're going to need them. It makes it really simple, it comes with a spacer if you happen to need it, which I think you won't, and it comes with pre-cut tubing which is excellent no measuring or anything and it gives you zip ties because you need the zip ties and I'll show you why in a little bit so I ordered myself three of these because I'm going to change all three of the tubing as you can see I opened up this one and that one and I kind of made my own spacer there out of paper towels just to make this doser function because the tubing is just so worn out okay so after you get yourself to eBay, you order yourself a couple of those kits. You go to your nearest hardware store. If you have it in your garage, great. You need some silicone grease just to make sure that everything runs smooth. The rollers are smooth in there and it's going to work flawlessly. Okay. Some other tools that you might need. A pair of pliers or a uh, Leatherman of some sort. A pair of scissors or a nail clipper or something to cut off the old... Uh, zip lock line or zip uh, zip ties so what I've done I've gone ahead I've kind of already pre did some of the steps because uh, it is a little hard to get everything done on camera so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've taken the old tubing off I'll show you how to remove it real quick from the actual doser itself when you're removing it, you want to be careful not to break the rollers, so kind of pull them straight out, uh, nice and easy. And as you pull it out, the tubing might come out as well. What you want to take notice is, oops, if I zoom in here, on the uh, tubing, right here, this black parts, okay? See how they're facing up? You can kind of see it here. When you install the new tubing, excuse me, you're going to want to make sure that these black parts are facing up. Note the direction because you'll really kick yourself in the butt if you install them the wrong way. So I'm going to pull this out. Okay, rollers out. And when you notice, when you pull it out, it's going to be very dry. That's what the grease is for. That way it makes the rollers run nice and smooth. Alright. So now that this is out, you can see the orientation of the tubing. When you put it in, you want to flex it and make sure that these black parts are definitely facing up. Okay? So you can see it's just going to slide in like this and it's going to sit uh, the right way in your doser. Okay? When you take the tube tubing out, it's going to have the, you're going to get this piece right here. Alright? Let me kind of move the, this out of the way because we don't need it anymore. So there we go, you get your, your black connector. You want to be careful not to break this piece because you're going to reuse it. But what's unique about this, and I don't know if the camera will focus up close. you notice these grooves right here. Okay, Take note of the grooves because the zip ties are going to need to sit in these uh, grooves when you reassemble it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Again, when you have your tubing, it's going to sit like this in the... Uh, in the doser. Remember where I said you want to take note of the position of the black part here. Okay. The black part is going to need to face up. So when you put the tubing in it's going to kind of go like do one of these. So it rolls like that. Alright so I'll go ahead and put this together real quick so I can show you what it looks like. like completely all the way in you're gonna get your two zip ties now remember you gotta be careful take note 
Again, I'm gonna zoom in up close. All right, where the zip tie is positioned here, okay? Because if you put it on the back end, it's not gonna sit in doser the right way and it's not gonna work properly. So when you put your zip ties on, make sure it's in the groove, just like these are here, okay? And the zip tie is facing sideways. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now with the new tubing. All right, now grab your pliers or your Leatherman and give this these zip ties a nice tug. That way, there creates a nice seal, and you won't have any leaks. So now they're securely in the grooves. Now what we'll do is we'll just cut the extra off with a pair of scissors. Be careful, don't cut your new tubing. Alright, those are off. This one in over here. Slide it in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of let it sit higher up for now. Okay, and I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay. Kind of going to let it sit right at the top. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our grease, our, hundred, uh, our silicone grease. Just put it on your finger. I'm going to kind of rub it on the inside. That way that when the, the rollers are moving around in there, it won't have any problems and your dose is going to work nice and smooth. Okay. Also don't forget to put some of this on the actual rollers roller itself. I already did this so I'm not just I'm not going to show it again. So now we have our rollers greased and our tubing is greased. What I like to do to make sure I don't break the roller is I'll just slide it on top, okay? And it only goes in one way. It only goes in one way because it has this little cut on the metal, on the metal part here. So what I'll do is I'll kind of put it on and twist it slowly until I get it into the groove. Kind of rotate it around nice and easy. Kind of turn it in the same direction that the pump moves. And there you go, it's in. Show you real quick what it would look like if the rollers, not the roller, the um, tubing is put in the wrong way. Okay, so I'm going to kind of zoom in here. What it would look like and why it wouldn't work. Okay, you see how this isn't flush the way I showed you. I put it in upside down on purpose. And you can see that the roller is not going to make much contact with the tubing. Okay? So I'll go ahead, I'll, uh, let me just pull this out real quick. Slide it out. Take our tubing. Flip it around. Okay, I put this in. Same way I did before. Okay, now when I put the roller in, it'll be nice and flush. Okay, I do my twist method in the same direction that the pump rotates in. That way, it don't break any of the mechanisms. It slides right in and kind of push the tubing into place. And that's it, you are done. This is complete and it's ready to be tested. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the rest of the rollers, uh, the rest of the tubings, uh, put some new grease on, and this pump's gonna be brand new. What I recommend is putting more grease on about every three months to six months to ensure that your doser is gonna be running smoothly and it's gonna be dosing the same amount every time. So let me go ahead and change it all, and then I'm going to uh, do a quick test, and it should be ready to run.